Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Let's Play auf meinem Kanal, das da heißt The Park. Ähm, eigentlich war ich schon damit fertig, aber die Aufnahmen sind gecrashed und waren für die Tonne. Deswegen nochmal! Also, ich spiele eine Mutter, die mit ihrem Sohn in den Freizeitpark geht, aber er dort auf mysteriöse Art und Weise verschwindet und ich ihn suchen muss. Also starten wir mal. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Jo, und jetzt müssen wir halt an die Information und gucken, was der junge Herr oder die junge Dame dort sagt. Okay, ja. Tom was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Äh, hallo, hallo. Ich wollte das jetzt nicht unbedingt lesen. Oh mein Gott. Okay. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Okay, ich muss jetzt in den Park. Freizeitpark, Freizeitpark, Freizeitpark. Wait up there for Mommy Callum. Okay, da oben ist er. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee. The park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Ähm. Jetzt wird der Park gruselig. Okay, und das da hab ich überhaupt nicht gern. Oha. So. What happened here? Kalem, warte doch, bitte, lauf nicht so weit. Hallo, Junge. Oh nein, Hilfe. Nein. Oh, diese Anfälle. Das ist das, was mich ein bisschen äh, triggert. Kalem! Warte! Okay. Oh, hier ist der Schuh. Ich denke, das belongs to Kalem. Den habe ich jetzt aufgesammelt. Und was ist hier? Chad the Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Yes. What's this? Nee, mag ich nicht. Ich lese nicht. So, äh. 
Okay, ich vergaß. Ich muss ja mit diesen komischen Entendingern fahren. Oh mein Gott. Ah, da ist er, da ist er. Oh nein. Warum? Ja, warum hast du nicht gewartet, ey? Kind. Machst du bitte Halt? Ich will, will fahren. Ach ja, die schöne Geschichte von Hänsel und Gretel. Boah, es ist schon... Oh Gott, ey. Spooky. Sehr, sehr spooky. Aha. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Crackle. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon uh. them there. No, my wife. I, I cannot don't. do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Okay. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Okay. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Oh no. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Wow, was ist das? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. At my house, <laughs> an old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. 
But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Oh, yeah. Once hey. inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is oh fattened God. up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, "The opening is here." Yeah, the excellent plan. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged. The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Okay, wie die da abgezeichnet sind. Richtig übel, richtig übel. Äh, äh, guck bitte woanders hin, dass du, oh nee, was ist mit dir? Oh Gott, lass mich raus, du bist gruselig. Okay. Ja, ich bin draußen. Weg, weg, weg. Du bist hässlich und gruselig. Lass mich in Ruhe. Hansel und Gretel. Ich used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to oh. desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Oh, my God. Wie lange ich schon diese Geschichte nicht mehr gehört hatte. Ich möchte jetzt keine Zeit lesen. Mir ist nicht danach. Vielleicht gehe ich zum Hexenkessel.
Ja, die Krake. Ich hoffe nicht, dass ich damit fahren muss. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Nö. Da kam ich hier nicht wirklich weiter. Oh mein Gott. Kann ich hier irgendwas machen? Warte mal. Hier rein. I can't get on while it's moving. Ah, das hatte ich glaube ich beim, beim Dings. Okay. Das hatte ich bei dem ersten Aufnahme Versuch nicht gemacht. So, wie komme ich jetzt da rein? Hier, ne? Hm? Hier? Hä? Oh nee. Okay, sie hat wieder einen Anfall. Irgendwas? Äh. Nee, oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott, nein, das Ding rastet aus. Nein! Oh, nee, bitte. Ich muss woanders hingucken, mir wird schlecht. Oh Gott, was ist das für ein Vieh? Gewesen. Oh, I remember this. Mhm. Okay. Da war ich ja, da kam ich an die Hides and thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled red balling thing and I thought Is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. So, weiter geht's. Äh, ja. Okay, hier ist das Achter. Ne, der die Autoscooter. Nicht die Achterbahn, Autoscooter. Constant crashes in 80s music. La la la. someone's boat. WTF Okay 
Ich gehe jetzt zu dem komischen beleuchteten Autoscooter. <lacht> Ja, das Problem ist halt, ich weiß noch zu gut, was alles so irgendwie kam. Gehen wir noch dahin. Oh mein Gott. Dieses Puppern da, dieses komische, verschwommene, was weiß ich was. Ist so, uh, so eklig. So, hier geht es aber nicht mehr weiter. Denn da komme ich ja die Treppe nicht runter. Das heißt, ich muss jetzt da hinten lang. Irgendeine Seite, bla 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 bla. Alles Kram über die Vergangenheit, was mich eigentlich gar nicht so juckt. Hahaha. Ha, ha, ha. Juckt mich nicht. Juckt mich nicht. Oh mein Gott. So. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Hmm. So, da ist noch ein Zettel. Bla bla, nein, bla bla bla. Äh, ich würde sagen, Riesenrad fahren wir dann in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann. Ciao, ciao.